there's a proper old school Mercedes right in front of me, so we're just gonna jump out. We're gonna have a quick look at that, because that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna get straight into showing you the Golf. and welcome to today's video and as you can see from the title I'm going to be revealing my VW Golf 25th anniversary. Shortly I'm going to be going up to the body shop to speak to Matt, he's been carrying out all sorts of work on the car. Um, I'm also going to be talking about the plans I have for it as well, I've got a lot of great content coming up for this car. I will talk a little more later on in the video exactly what I'm going to be doing to this car. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, don't forget to leave the thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe as well. Now, before we go up to the body shop, I've got a new tyre fitted to the wheel for the BMW. I just need to get the wheel put back on. Uh, what we can do is then get the car out. I want to take it for a quick test drive just to make sure that everything works fine. There's no issues with the car. And then, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna head up to the body shop. So sit back and I hope you enjoy the video. That's another job done. Um, what I'm doing at the moment, just charging the battery up because I left the interior light on the car overnight. Killed the battery, so we're just charging that up. Um, now, I was gonna give it a service. But I've checked the oil, and the oil's practically brand new. It doesn't need changing yet. Um, I've also checked the, the air filter. That seems fine as well. That's fairly new. So I think it has had a uh, it's had a recent service. So we're just going to clean in here, just all this all this out, and just tidy it up a little bit. And then we're going to get the car out and take it for a test drive. Right, so we're going on our first test drive in the car. Um, just put some fuel in it, all seems so far so good. All the window wipers work, all the windows work fine. Runs sweet. It's a bit wet today, so. All the suspension feels good. Yeah, it's a nice car. This will make a, a very good car for someone. And take this for a quick drive, go and park it up, get some pictures, and then we'll be on our way. Alright, so I'm happy with that. So we are now going to make our way to the body shop. See you in a sec. Okay, so we've just got here. Um, there's a proper old school Mercedes right in front of me, so we're just gonna jump out. We're gonna have a quick look at that, because that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna get straight into showing you the Golf. Then what we'll do after is we'll head in, we'll speak to Matt, and we'll have a walk around the car and just, just talk about what's been done. So let's go.
Right, so we're here at the body shop now. What's going on, Matt? Good to see you, mate. How are you? How are you, you doing, right? bruv? This is some of the stuff that Matt's been up to. Uh, one of the bumpers that I'm having painted, it's a, a US spec for the rear of the, the Annie. Uh, he's just prepping that. Um, side skirts over there. And we've got a few other bits. Now, we're having these seats put into the car as well. They're out of a Vauxhall Corsa VXR, making up some new brackets. We're just, we're just having a look at the moment. So we're gonna get them into the car at some point. Um, right, so we're gonna have a look at the car. Let's do this. <laughs> it's a bit dark, but here we go. So, Matt, what have we done to the car? I know you've had it for a little while. It started off as just having the seals done, wasn't it? Yeah. And um, it's just been job after job. I've just thrown job after job at you. And well, basically, what we've had to do is um, I've had to cut and remove any rot from the inner from the inner seals. Um, pull down the uh, chassis legs with, by welding on the clamp, etc. Yeah. With the slide hammer. Um, and pull the gaps back due to some jacking damage. Um, it was pretty bad underneath, it was, wasn't it? It was pretty bad. Absolutely uh, terrible. I'll try and put some pictures up on this video as well of what it looked like before, just to show you how bad it was and, and some sort of progress pictures that I've I've been sent through along the way. Um, then basically we cut all the outer out to repair the inner, um, all treated with zinc primer, then fitted the outer seal back on, piecing them in nicely, followed up with the under seal stone chip. Yep. Um, Colours supplied by Bushy Body Crop, absolutely spot on. Um, Yes, yes. So we've had the we've had the seals done, and um, we've just got a, a few more little bits to, to do before, and then it won't be long before we can uh, come and collect it, and we can get it back into my garage and, and and start start stripping it down. So the plan the plan for it is to get everything underneath strong, get all the bodywork mint. That's why it's here at the moment uh, with Matt, and then the plan is to to, to get it into the garage and literally just just strip everything down. Now, it is the bonnet open. As you can see, it's a, it's a PD150. <clears throat> now that's not gonna be staying in the car. What I'm gonna be doing is taking the 3.2 out of the Audi TT. Uh, that's gonna be going in, in here. We're gonna take everything out. We're gonna clean all the engine bay up. It's pretty, We've seen better days really, isn't it? Um, and yeah, just literally strip it all down. I'll show you the, the work that Matt's done on, on the sills. We've had, we've had bumpers resprayed, painted, uh, new valances. Uh, this is a state of the inside at the moment. So we're literally starting from a from a bare shell. Well, I haven't even polished the edge yet. You know what I mean? And that's straight off from masking, right? Like, yeah, there just is look no at that. Polish, you know what I mean? Yeah. Quality, the quality of work. I know it's, it's difficult to see on on the camera, but the quality of work is just it's just second to none. But yeah, look, we've got uh, we've got a lot to do to the car. Um, yeah, the, was it the rear? The, rear, um, the spoiler's got to go on. I've got that in the garage. Um, but the rear, with the rear of the car, wasn't it? Some few imperfections along there. Around here, there was, um, and a couple down there, the usual scabs that they get. Stone Yeah, and I didn't ask you to do that. You just did that yeah, off, yeah, off yeah. your own back, and you know, I appreciate everything you have done to the car. I know it's not been easy, but obviously we ended up lacquering both quarter panels just to make it easier for the blend. Well. Yeah. On the other edge. Uh, the reason we didn't remove the rear windows was due to obviously having the paint work done before and someone's already cut the rubbers. Yeah. So it didn't, didn't need that, yeah. Off, so it saved us all the job. Um, I mean, look, it's it's, 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 yeah, it's, 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 still not, it's still not done. It's still going to be here for, for a week or so, isn't it? and then we're going to come back and, and, and pick it up. But, um, yeah, man, this is, I know it's a bit dark, it's a bit difficult to see, but here it is. I'm going to put your, uh, I'm going to put a link down to your, your page on the video, um, the Uxbridge area. So if any of you guys in, in, the, in and around the area, like Slough area, right, in 25, he's the, he's the go-to guy. I'll, put, I'll get some better uh, pictures, I'll try and post them on the video, just to show the work that has been done to the car. But I'm, I'm over the moon with, with how it's come out. Um, and like I said, it's still not, we're still we're still not done just yet. So yeah, just wanted to get this onto the channel, 
So that engine's going to be coming out, everything's going to be coming out. All underneath's going to be stripped, going to be taking the subframe off, everything underneath just to just to tidy it up. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go to town on this. That's it, let's do this. Right, so it's, as I said, it's dark. We're going to... Uh, we're gonna head back in and then um, I'll catch you guys in a sec. Okay, so apologies for the walk around video. It, by the time we'd got the car out and was walking around, it was dark, it was cold, the, the lighting wasn't great, I was just using the tools. So we'll do a better walk around video when, once I get the car back, but I wanted to, to, to speak to Matt and, and just for him to explain what, what work we've had on the car. Um, so yeah, I'm glad we, we got that done. But just to summarise really, um, like I said in, in that walk around video, I'm going to be taking the engine out of the Audi TT, that's going to be going into the, 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 the Golf. Um, now I need to source a, a manual gearbox because the one that's in the Audi is a DSG, it's an automatic gearbox, so I'll probably try and source a Mark IV R32 gearbox to, to fit into to the Golf. Um, now I've got air ride that was on the car before just to make it easier for Matt to move about I'll put it on the coilovers just like the cheap set of coilovers lying about just so you can keep moving about and you know so we're going to be putting them back on but before we do any of this we need to uh, I say we I am going to be stripping everything down the subframe is going to be coming off the rear axles I want to, to clean up underneath everywhere just to make it it's going to be a show car it's going to be my show car that I take to car shows so I want to make sure it's done properly, so I want to get everything stripped off of the car, take the engine out, do around the engine bay, just clean absolutely everything. As you see in the interior, there is no interior, so we are literally starting from the ground up. Okay, so I'm going to end the video there for this week. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up, and if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. If you click the bell icon, that will then notify you when I next upload a video. That's all for today guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.